Two days ago, I launched an app built entirely with AI code, and in the last 48 hours, it's generated over $900 in revenue, and the app isn't even launched yet. In this video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and show you how I built it, how I marketed it, and how I'm getting my users. So make sure you like, you subscribe, and stick around for the rest of this video because there's gonna be a lot for you guys to learn. So I wanna show you, currently I'm processing the payments through WAP. This is sort of like the last 48 hours, $902 generated in revenue. In fact, actually yesterday was a pretty insane day $682 generated for the app uh, and then uh, 1,800 pounds generated for a new coaching client. Now, I know a lot of you are probably going to try and steal this idea, um, so all I'm going to ask you is just don't. But basically, it's a market research tool which essentially will scour Reddit posts, give people ideas on solution requests, pain points, and app ideas, and it will also give you keyword market data as well. So I can see search volume trends for different keywords related to my idea. Everything is built entirely using cursor. So the entire code is built entirely using AI. So I'm about to get a lot of questions from you guys asking how I managed to make this amount of money in the first 24, 48 hours. So I'm gonna show you. It all comes down to short form content marketing, but also it comes down to testing funnels. So this is my Instagram account, Sebastian underscore Volkis. Go ahead and drop me a follow. I've got 38,000 followers. Now, before I go any further, I don't want anybody in the comments to say, well, how do I do this if I've got no followers? Because the first app that I ever launched, Chat IQ, I had 42 followers when I launched it, and I got it to over $10,000 in recurring revenue in just two months. So anybody can do this. You just need to get good at creating content, and the only way to do that is repetition. But let me show you what I did. So we're gonna scroll down here. I posted this video here, which has got 100,000 views. I'm not gonna play the whole video, uh, but actually, if you scroll through my Instagram account all the way back down here, a long time ago, I posted a couple of videos. This one here got 1.5 million views. This one here got 500,000 views. And you can see here, it says, what on earth is happening on Reddit? I used exactly the same hook and exactly the same style again and got 100,000 views. I then posted that video also onto TikTok. So it got 25,000 views on TikTok. So just to give you an idea in terms of traffic, this is the results of marketing over the last two days. And you can see here, this is where I actually came back to work. I was on holiday all the way up until the 6th. So I started marketing the product and I managed to generate $1,000. I'll go through a bit more behind the scenes in a minute on how I did the marketing. But right now, I'm having to fulfill all of the orders manually. Let me explain. Currently, there are two ways that people can buy this app. Firstly, they can come to the website directly. And I've actually set up this new pricing model where it rewards early adopters of the app. So we're now at $39 for every user that signs up and it basically explains what the tool does a little bit of information but right now if you want to use this app you have to fill out a form and the form looks something like this the reason I've done this is because I know the app is something that people want I've marketed it before I did an early launch post about a month ago just before Christmas and it got about $250 in revenue so I knew it was an app that people wanted but it wasn't ready to launch yet. So what I basically said was, look, if you guys give me your idea through the form, I will put that through the software and email you your results. Um, and we got quite a few people doing it. So basically I'll take somebody's idea, I will search for it in the Explorer, it gives us all of the keyword data, and then, this is the really cool thing, it will actually go ahead and analyze Reddit communities. But because this entire thing is built using AI, uh, I've gone into Cursor and I'm just gradually updating it and improving it so I can actually make the fulfillment process much smoother. So for example, right, if I were to go into, I don't know, this subreddit, I would have to copy the title, I'd have to go to solution request, copy that, copy this, copy all of that, and then paste it into a Google Doc. But now I've just coded in one button where I click copy, it copies the whole thing to clipboard, and then I just come over to a Google Doc, and bam, I paste it in like that. It's not ideal in terms of presentation, but the way I've sold this to people is, look, if you pay 29, it's now $39 to get a market research report, you will get early access, lifetime access to this app once it's finally launched. So I'm able to bring in paid users for my app before it's even launched, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna continue doing this for a bit and then I'll let you know what I work on next. So one of the really cool things about building an app and launching it like this is you can very quickly see how people would use it because you're having to use it to fulfill orders. Now the app is built, it's just not launched. So nobody can go in and sign up and use it. Okay, that's one more sent off. 10 more to go, I think. I really need to get this thing built very quickly. Oh God, this is exhausting. The worst part about this is I need to be building, but I'm having to fulfill orders. I kind of went a bit crazy on marketing yesterday, but here we go. And 
Boom! There's another one. Now we've had a couple more orders come in, but I'm just going to do the first 23 and then we'll keep it out. What I might do is, if I keep getting orders, is basically just raise the price. Because if I raise the price, we're going to get less orders, but if people still pay for it, then that's fine with me, right? I'm making more money, but it pays for the time much better. So I kind of pointed this out earlier, but basically what I'm doing is I'm saying, dependent on how many users join, the price will gradually be increased. I want to have it eventually where I'm selling it for $99 per month just because, you know, that makes it very easy to scale recurring revenue. But I'm going to get there by basically saying, look, it's a one-time fee of $39, $49, $69 as we get like the first 100 users. And just by moving it from 50 to 100 like this, took the conversion rate from a 1.2% to a 3.4%. And that I'm guessing is most likely because people come in and they're like, okay, well, I don't know if we're at 100 users yet. And I don't know when it's going to go up by $10. So, okay, I'll buy now. I've missed this price, so I'll buy it at that price. So it basically rewards early users because, I mean, anybody who pays for this at any price is going to get lifetime access. Trying this is huge. Like, this has made a massive difference to conversion rates. Oh, God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Them. It's now basically 20 to 2. I'm going to just take a break. I've got a coaching call now with a new mentee that joined yesterday. So I've got to sit on a call with him for an hour and work out how to build his app with him, teach him how to build using AI. By the way, if you guys would like to learn how to build apps using AI like I do, uh, there is a live class being hosted quite regularly on CodeSpring, which is my AI coding software company, which helps people build software. The link for that is down below in the description. So register for that. It's completely free. Come along to that. Uh, but yeah, basically, this is just the day to day. It's just me sitting at the computer. I haven't actually done any coding yet. So I want to get all of these orders fulfilled, catch up with everything, and then next week's going to be heavy Sebastian coding, building the app. So if you want to see that, make sure you drop a subscribe and come along to the next video. So the first step of working with every client is figuring out their tech stack is and what are the basic features that they need to get built in the shortest amount of time, because that's what we're going to be able to do using AI coding. That way they can actually get their product launched and start generating revenue as quickly as possible. So I've managed to catch up on everything. Um, basically, all caught up on the orders I still need to get a load of stuff done for the app but I had a call with a new student of mine who I'm coaching to build his first software using AI and now I've got another coaching call with another student of mine who's also building a software using AI so you can see how I'm really sort of balancing and juggling all of this stuff so we're going to get that done and then probably I don't know, I think I'm, I'm busy tonight, so I'll have to call it a day for that. So I'll show you this stuff and then I'll wrap the day up at the end of this. But it's been a fairly productive day. We've got another sale for the software. So you can see here, if we come in now, the software's made $980. Uh, if we just look at today, we're at $234 for the day, which is pretty cool. But anyway, I'm going to hop on this call right now. So this is another one of my students that I've been working with for about three months now and he doesn't know how to code he's never built anything using ai before but he's actually built a full support whatsapp chatbot trained on company data that can actually book appointments and we're just getting up to ready to the phase where we actually launch this app and he can start actually getting his first users which is really really exciting so first of all did it extract the text from the ocr or did it just fail straight away well, so that's it for the end of the day. I'll just show you what we rounded it off with. So in the last sort of three days now, 980. Um, and then today, slow day, 234. Um, but I haven't done any more marketing. This is just sort of leftover from one video. So actually now you could probably submit an order in probably, I'm guessing, I think on average it's about eight, six, seven, eight minutes. So yeah, I'm actually able to get through them fairly quickly, but I need to get this app built. So then we can just have people sign up and use them. I'll let you guys know what happens and obviously we'll keep this series going. And in the next video, we'll probably spend some more time actually building it. So if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe, but I'll see you in the next video.